Hi, my name is Nick, I'm from Erie, and today I'm going to show you how to install a water softener in a residential application. Now, before you can start installing the water softener, you need to determine where am I going to install it. For a residential application, we typically recommend to install it at the point of entry. Point of entry means where the water enters your house. If you install it at the point of entry, the advantage is that all the water you use throughout the house passes through the water softener and is treated. To find out where the water enters your house, very simple, just look for the main shuttle valve and the water meter, in this case it's inside of the garage, and typically you'll also find a non-return valve there. So this is the point of entry, this is where the water enters the house, this is where we want to install the softener. In this case it's in a garage, other houses it could be in the basement, it could be in the hall, it could be in a technical room, it could even be in a kitchen. One thing that you may want to consider uh, doing is installing an untreated water tap. In this case the tap is installed immediately after the non-return valve. It's important that you install it between the water meter and the water softener. An untreated water tap can be uh, convenient, for example, for watering the car. In this case, we are going to install the water softener at the point of entry in a garage. First of all, hydraulic connection. We definitely recommend to connect the water softener to the plumbing system using flexible hoses. Flexible hoses offer the advantage that they avoid stress on your plumbing system, but also on the plastic parts of the water softener. But the other advantage of flexible hoses is that they allow the end user to move the softener around a little bit, which is very convenient for cleaning or for servicing. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that you use so, uh, flexible hoses of a large diameter. That's important to reduce or to limit the pressure drop. The flexible hoses that we use or that we sell with our systems have three quarters of an inch BSP female uh, adapters on them. So what we want on the plumbing is three quarters of an inch BSP male adapters. The second thing you will have to provide is a connection to the sewerage system inside of your house because every software has a drain connection that is used during the regeneration process and what we recommend is a standpipe, so a vertical tube with an air trap or siphon. The third thing you need to provide, as most of the softeners that we sell are electrically operated, is a wall socket. If these three things, so in an outlet connection, drain connection and wall socket are all provided, are in place, then great, let's move on to the next step, preparing the water softener.